big walleye. It is. Just getting started. And as you can see, we're pretty bumbled up. My friend Scott Walsh and I are in far northern Minnesota. We're trying to get the last vestiges of fall fishing in. It's, it's the first really big cold front of the fall. We're catching a few fish here in northern Minnesota. We're going to tell you how we're doing it, what we're using to catch them, and hopefully we'll warm up a little bit as the uh, day opens up here. Ooh, it's pretty. Maybe. Darting around like a smallmouth. The walleyes, when they're up shallow, they get crazy and all that is a smallie. It's a little 16 incher. Come here, you. Plump. The plump little fella. Just a little peanut. Heck of a nice walleye, but. Well, we caught a bunch of them already, this little adventure here up north the last couple days, right? We've been, been chasing walleyes and catching all kinds of nice ones. And... Nice fish, huh? It's just so pretty up here. A rainy red gold. What you got? Big old smallie. Boy, that, it is a nice one. It is a nice small mouth. Beauty. Buy, he's all by himself. See yeah, that friend kind of... up here. Not a giant, but he's a nice one. Oh, it's a nice one. He ate a, he ate a mayor, Crush City mayor, on a little VMC swim bait jig head. Oh, come in here. That's Not a big bad one. Bad fish at all, yeah. The colors are starting to change, and these guys are biting. Fun, plumpy, getting ready for winter. See that? Big old belly. They just want it. They just want it real slow. I've that's the second one that where I'm just twitching it along rather than cracking it along. And as it's parked there, you'll just get that little tick in the line. They're still not real. Uh, oh, it's big walleye. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just don't think they're still. Uh, I'm just not super awake yet. How oh, these walleyes are mean. Yeah, they are. And they're <laughs> nice quality they fish are too, mean. right? That's oh, a, yeah. that's a beautiful walleye. It's like, you know, four pounds. You probably catch 30 walleyes in a day and you probably average four pounds. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. We got the sun starting to peak out. That's going to help us, right, Scotty? Oh, yeah. This time of year when that water starts cooling off and fish start getting a little bit of cold, a little sunshine does wonders for their mood. This guy's in a bad mood. That's a really solid. Really solid smallie. So this far north, they don't get much bigger than that. Oh. <laughs> this one, you can see moon tail imitating smelt. That's a chunk there, man. Wow, that is a big one. Oh. Big hair jig smallie. <laughs> this one. Big old head come up. I'm like, not a smallmouth. <laughs> wow. It's kind of docile right now. All right. <laughs> hey. Look at that thing. My uh, my 18-inch bump board here in the bass boat is probably not going to help us mm -hmm. much on that one. But... No. Beautiful fish. That's why we come up north this time of year, right? You got a you got a good one on. <laughs> I do. He was oh there we go he, too. His tail walking all over and now he's just digging for bottom. This one's getting close to being ready, I think. 
Oh yeah, I got a solid one too. There we go. Nice. Sun's coming. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, mine's nothing like that. Mine's like a 16 inch. Of it. That's a chunk, man. Right on. There we go. Yeah. One on a Largo, one on a Shadow Wrap Deep. What a day, huh? Oh, fun, fun day on Rainy Lake. Walleyes yesterday, smallmouths today. I think Scott and I have showed you why Rainy Lake is one of our favorite fisheries in spring, summer, and fall. We love coming up here. We caught a lot more nice walleyes today than we were thinking, chasing these smallies around. But wait, wait, what a way to finish her out right there. Afternoon sun, a couple of beautiful smallies. I hope you enjoyed today's segment, folks, with Scott Walsh and Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.